Are you entangled with a narcissist? Do this method if you want to escape from it. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you're all doing well because today we're diving into a topic that's as important as it is difficult. Being entangled with a narcissist and more importantly, how you can escape from that web. This is something that many people face in their relationships, friendships, and even family dynamics. So I'm really glad that you're here to join me for this conversation. If you've been feeling trapped or drained by someone who seems to only care about themselves, then you're in the right place. Let's get into it. When you first meet a narcissist, they can seem charismatic, confident, and sometimes even magnetic. Their charm can sweep you off your feet, and before you know it, you're caught in a relationship that feels exciting at first, but slowly becomes draining and suffocating. Narcissists are incredibly skilled at creating a facade of charm and affection to draw people in. But over time, that facade starts to crack, and the reality of their manipulative behavior begins to show. You may start to notice subtle signs. They constantly need praise and validation, they gaslight you into questioning your own reality, or they twist every argument so that you're the one apologizing. If this sounds familiar, you might be entangled with a narcissist. And if that's the case, it's crucial to know that it's not your fault. Narcissists are experts at manipulation, and their behavior often goes unnoticed for a long time because they're so good at masking their true intentions. One of the most painful aspects of being involved with a narcissist is the feeling of constantly giving while they seem to only take. It's exhausting. You find yourself putting in all the effort to keep the relationship afloat while they continuously demand more, whether that's your time, attention, or emotional energy. But no matter how much you give, it's never enough. They may shower you with love and affection one moment, only to turn cold and dismissive the next. This roller coaster of emotions keeps you hooked, always trying to get back to the high points of the relationship. This emotional seesaw is a tactic narcissists use to keep you entangled. They know how to manipulate your emotions, pushing you away and pulling you back just enough to keep you invested. They thrive on control, and the more entangled you become, the more they tighten their grip. You might find yourself constantly walking on eggshells, afraid to upset them or trigger their anger. Over time, this can wear you down, leading to anxiety, low self-esteem, and a loss of your own sense of identity. If you're finding yourself in this situation, you're probably wondering, how do I escape? Breaking free from a narcissist is not easy, but it is possible. The first step is recognizing the pattern of narcissistic behavior and accepting that you cannot change them. Narcissists are often deeply rooted in their own behavior and mindset, and unless they have a significant breakthrough in therapy, which is rare, they are unlikely to change. Trying to change them or fix the relationship will only drain you further. Once you accept that their behavior is not your responsibility to fix, you can begin to focus on yourself. The key to escaping from a narcissist lies in reclaiming your power. Narcissists thrive on control, and they will do everything in their power to maintain that control over you. They might guilt trip you, play the victim, or make you feel like you can't survive without them. This is all part of their manipulation, but here's the truth. You can survive without them. In fact, you will thrive once you break free. To start the process of escaping a narcissist, you need to set firm boundaries. This can be incredibly difficult because narcissists do not respect boundaries. They will push back, argue, and try to break down any walls you put up. But this is where your strength comes in. You need to be firm in your boundaries and stick to them, even when it feels uncomfortable. This might mean limiting your contact with them, refusing to engage in arguments that go in circles, or cutting them off altogether 
if that's what's necessary for your mental health. One of the most powerful tools you can use when dealing with a narcissist is the grey rock method. The idea behind this method is to make yourself as uninteresting as possible to the narcissist. Narcissists thrive on drama and emotional reactions, so when you stop giving them that, they lose their power over you. When they try to provoke you, remain calm and detached. Don't engage in their games and don't give them the emotional reaction they're looking for. Over time, they will lose interest because you're no longer feeding their need for control and attention. Another crucial part of escaping a narcissist is rebuilding your support system. Narcissists often isolate their partners or victims, cutting them off from friends and family. This isolation makes it harder to leave because you feel like you have no one to turn to. But it's important to reach out to trusted friends, family members, or even a therapist who can offer support and help you regain your sense of self. You don't have to go through this alone, and having a strong support system will make it easier to break free. As you begin to distance yourself from the narcissist, you might experience something called narcissistic rage. When narcissists feel like they're losing control, they can lash out in anger or retaliation. This can be emotionally devastating and might make you question whether leaving is the right decision. But remember, their anger is just another form of manipulation. It's designed to scare you into staying. Don't let their rage deter you from your goal of breaking free. Stay strong and keep your focus on your own well-being. One of the hardest parts of leaving a narcissist is dealing with the emotional aftermath. Narcissists can leave you feeling broken, confused and questioning your own worth. It's common to experience feelings of guilt, self-doubt and even longing for the person who hurt you. This is because narcissists are skilled at creating a false sense of dependency. They make you believe that you need them and when you leave, it can feel like you're losing a part of yourself. But the truth is, you're not losing anything. In fact, by leaving, you're gaining back your freedom and your sense of self. It's important to give yourself time to heal after leaving a narcissist. The recovery process can take time, and it's okay to feel a mix of emotions. You might feel relief one day and sadness the next. This is normal. Allow yourself to grieve the relationship, but also remind yourself of the reasons why you left. Focus on rebuilding your self-esteem and reconnecting with the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. This is your time to rediscover who you are outside of the narcissist's control. Another important step in the healing process is understanding that the narcissist's behavior was never your fault. Narcissists are experts at making you feel like you're to blame for their actions, but the reality is that their behavior is a reflection of their own issues, not yours. They targeted you because they saw your kindness, empathy and willingness to give, and they took advantage of that. But now that you've broken free, you can protect those qualities and use them to build healthy, loving relationships with people who truly appreciate and respect you. As you continue on your journey of healing, it's important to remember that boundaries are your best defense against falling back into old patterns. Even if you've cut the narcissist out of your life, you might encounter other people who exhibit similar behaviors in the future. By learning to recognize the red flags of narcissism and setting strong boundaries from the beginning, you can protect yourself from getting entangled in another toxic relationship. Escaping a narcissist is not easy, and it takes tremendous strength and courage. But once you break free, you'll discover a sense of freedom and peace that you may not have felt in a long time. You'll regain control over your own life and emotions, and you'll be able to focus on your own happiness and well-being. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship that's built on mutual respect, trust, and love, don't settle for anything less. Before we wrap up, I want to say that if you're currently entangled with a narcissist, please know that there is hope. You can escape and you can heal. 
It might feel overwhelming right now, but by taking small steps, setting boundaries, and prioritizing your own mental health, you can regain your freedom. Surround yourself with people who support and uplift you, and don't be afraid to seek professional help if you need it. Therapy can be incredibly helpful in processing the trauma of a narcissistic relationship and helping you rebuild your sense of self-worth. All right, everyone, thank you so much for staying with me through this important and heavy topic. I hope this discussion has been helpful and that you're feeling empowered to take the steps you need to protect yourself from a narcissist's manipulation. If you've ever dealt with a narcissist or have any thoughts to share, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future content. Take care of yourselves, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.